Oh my gosh, these coverts look so good, y'all. Oxford white, space white, back-to-back -back coverts, leveled on 34s and 22s. Trifecta. We got Mr. Jesse Cash. He's going to film us today. We got Spence making his debut. And we got D in the back. Three beauties going for you today. You ready to review? Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. All right, y'all. So this is a special one today. We've got two 21 f 150 Akins Ford XLT covered editions. We've got the new color, Space White, which I'm very excited about. And we got the tried and true Oxford White. Both are leveled on 22s, leveled on 34s. Hashtag, those are both growing, so keep, keep posting those hashtags. So we're on tried and true wheel and tire combos. Uh, we'll get right to it. First of all, look up front. The most substantial, bold difference up front is the custom paintwork. So this is still a pesky, um, I don't even know what to call it, y'all. It's like just a, a textured gray color that just does not work for us here today because of Wild Willys on our covert truck. So body color, we did the space white color uh, to really jam things up. So up on the NM2, we did satin black on our black finish to really match the overall theme here. And we got space white uh, to replace the blue. So I really like the emblem combo in itself, but doing that grill really makes it pop. Now this color, y'all, the space white, Reminds me of that Avalanche gray color uh, from the prior year on the Raptor and uh, Mustang GT350. Show them, Jesse. This is a metallic flake. It's not real sunny, but really the sun changes the overall appearance of this paint uh, combo. And I really do like it when it's real sunny, you see that metallic flake in it. So it's very similar. It replaced the Abyss gray. So it has that metallic flake in it. Um, the lead foot is more of a primer color like the Avalanche gray, but this color to me, Reminds me of the Avalanche Gray. Space White, you're gonna see more of it from us because we love it. Now, uh, next to us, we've got an Oxford White, tried and true, covert. Did the same thing, same grill combo. So you can see on both both trucks, we did the exact same combo on our grill. We just flipped the paint scheme on the, on the emblem. We did the blue black here and Oxford White where the chrome was. So let us know, Jesse, can we get both of them in the shop? Which color combo do you like? Do you like the blue black or do you like the blue body color? Let me know in the comments what you think better. What What do you like, Jesse? I like the space. You like, I, I like that one. You like You like the space combo? Yeah. So like doing that. doing the, the chrome black really makes that Ford logo stand out. If you do it all monotone, it really doesn't pop as well. So you definitely got to change it up. So uh, let us know in the comments what you think about up front. Now we're on 22s. You know I love our 22s. So let's show them a, a good side shot here. Our mild to wild scale. We are plus 12 offset on uh, this setup. And then we're plus 10 on the Oxford White. Um, I said tried and true wheel combo. Probably this wheel's been out for 15 years now. The Moto Metal 986 Siege. Uh, it's, been, it's been a great wheel. It's had, it started out all black. They had a, a black and milled. Now they got the machined with gloss black lip. We chose not to do a black wheel just because everybody's doing black. We want to do the machine because we feel the machine part of the wheel really matches the overall theme of this this color so it just works well uh, with the gloss black lip it really has a nice pop to it and really just kind of um, is something a little bit different we know we could do black and they've been fine but we wanted a, just a little different wheel combo and you haven't seen a tried and true classic wheel on this uh, generation body style the 14th gen f-150 so we wanted to do one that was just uh, homage to the old school wheel that's been a great one to the, the new body style so great for that let's show them a good side shot and going up to this, uh, it's a 34.4 inch tall tire, 285, 55, 22. And that, it just fills that wheel well up so nicely. And you got the 22 inch wheel combo that just looks so prominent and bold. And then a ridge grapper, that hybrid tire is a great tire. You know, you know it's a great tire. We use it all the time and it works so well because it's so aggressive looking, but it rides so good. Uh, as far as speaking of riding good, we did the Fox 2.0 coilover leveling kit. So let's show them a good look at this, Jesse. Uh, we got the 2.0 Fox coilover kit. That's our best option as far as ride quality currently for the 21s. Also on the side, this is that same gray colored on the side, the teardrop. We did that body color as well, so that really makes it look more premium. 
and flows with our overall package uh, as a whole for that. So we really like that. Now out back, you got Fox 2.0 shocks in the rear. Wheel well liners are now officially available. So wheel well liners really clean everything up. We got an undercover ultra flex bed cover now available also for the 21s, which is great. And then out back, show my mild to wild scale again. You know, it, we're on the conservative side, but it still sticks out. It's more prominent being a 10 wide wheel. Uh, it sticks out quite more than the factory wheel. So it's actually sticking out just, just slightly, about an inch and a half outside the fender well. So this combo is great. Uh, out back, that emblem just really cleans up the overall appearance of your real tailgate. Uh, I like on the new 21s, you've got a more prominent LED rear light also. And then we had to do Aikens liner in the back throughout. That's a must. And then coming around here to the side, give them a good side shot from the, from the rear, a little angled shot there. Truck just looks killer. I love this color combo. And then showing them the Oxford white next to it, you can really see the difference between the two different colors. Now on, also on both trucks, we like to do stubby antennas. So we've got the Ronin factory uh, stubby four inch antenna. So we love that look. So clean. Now one of my, probably my top three wheels of all time is found on the Oxford white. Fuel Maverick, if you couldn't guess, I'm ready to dive into this one. Let's go. So the Oxford white, you know, white trucks are just, just a go-to option. They look great and you can customize them, do some additions, especially on a sport package truck to really make it next level and overall appearance. Now a white truck also can be, show them the truck behind us. I mean, a work truck. I, I think of a work truck when I see a white truck or think of a white truck. So if we're doing customizations to a white truck, we make sure we do things that make it stand out above the rest to you know, man, that's something, something special about that truck. So um, we're going to break the narrative of white trucks being uh, categorized in that work truck segment. So here we go. Let's get after it. We got fuel Mavericks, y'all, and we're black and milled. So this wheel to me would have worked well on the space wide as well but I thought just this combo would have been the, the perfect setup for it. So Fuel Maverick, 22 by 10, just because it's a different wheel brand, they're plus 10 on their offset and the Moto Metal's plus 12, but we're talking two millimeters, y'all. So hardly, hardly marginal difference, but uh, essentially the same setup. Tire size is the exact same, 285, 55, 22, Toyo, open country, AT3. That generation three all-terrain tire has been great for us. Uh, Customers are already getting a lot of mileage on them and they're holding up very well, very smooth. Just a great addition to the Toyo lineup. Uh, we did the two inch ready lift level kit. So this is the spacer style, so just your aluminum spacer on top of your strut assembly. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you, do you, have you ran the coilover on your truck? Hey, are you used to the spacer? Our number one selling part number when it comes to level kits is the spacer style. And of course the coilover, to my opinion, rides slightly better. Is it worth you know, spending a thousand dollars more roundabout to do it. That's just kind of up to you, the customer. So price points are definitely uh, increased on the coilover, but both are great options. Both are right there with it, with uh, you, you know what you're gonna get whenever you level a truck with us right here at Wild Willys. Uh, you saw the emblem up front. We got the Ronin as well. Did our teardrop body color also. Looks so much more premium. Just doing those simple additions with the grill combo. I love that. Let's give them a good side shot of this one. So, you know, I love a 17. I, I can roll with an 18 or a 20, but it's something about a 22 on a half ton truck to me uh, works so well. You got enough tire still doing over a 34 inch tall tire. It just is the best balance of a mature wheel with a, a great tire that rides good, still gives you some off-road capability. And just the overall stance has improved so greatly with that 10 wide wheel. Uh, I even feel like the, I know the handling has improved going with that setup also. Now, just a few things we didn't, this is more of our base level. Uh, when it comes to outside appearance, we did not do a bed cover on this one, but that's easy, easy, to, easy to add that option for you. We've got an Aikens liner and then that tried and true emblem. I'm kind of with Jesse. I, I like the space gray overall better, but that emblem to me just pops on the rear. The, you know, different ways you do the emblems. If this was on the uh, the front, I think it looks better on the space gray flipped, but done this way on the rear, if it makes sense, looks better. The prominent black on the tailgate looks better to me than the space gray with uh, more space gray and the white um, black around the border there. So you can change and combo things so differently that we, I mean, we pay attention to it. It's the main thing I'm getting at. We pay attention to the details 
and try different things to see what works the best. It's not just like a, let's slap this on here and roll on because we're so busy. We are so busy, uh, but we, we, we still try to take the time, uh, whatever it takes to pay attention to details for you, the customer. Um, again, the stance, very similar. I mean, we're pretty much right there with the Moto Metal combo on the Space White. So you got two different ones to take a look at today. Now also on the inside, we are doing kits now. So this has the, the cat skin leather. So we added WeatherTech floor mats in both, and this one only has the cat skin leather. So uh, kits are available. It does have the big 12 inch screen. That inside is just money. I know Jesse drove this one, uh, about wrecked a few times, going coming in here, <laughs> coming in here kind of hot, but you like the inside of these trucks? Oh yeah, I love the inside. The uh, cat skin leather is really nice. Cat skin leather is a nice addition. I mean, this essentially all is a Lariat from just a few years ago. Um, just a great combination, XLT truck, covert, all the options, new body style, 14th gen, right here at Aikens. I'm about done if y'all are. Now you probably saw in the video the F-250 that David Sheehan pulled up and stacked behind us. We're about to review that one next. I'm gonna drop this video uh, first and you'll see the F-250 coming up after that. So stay tuned y'all, you gotta hit subscribe, you gotta hit the button notification because we are, we kinda busy Jesse with videos. Yeah. We're kind of busy, y'all. Yeah. We got a lot to do. I got a, a rat. We got a Roush truck to do still too. We got so much going on. So stay tuned. Come to us for. I'm just gonna spit a little bit. Come, <laughs> come to us for. Sit back, relax, look at beautiful trucks right here in Winder, Georgia. And if you want to come do business with us, A1's okay with us. Jesse and Neil, why with us at Aikens? Beautiful dealership, great trucks. Peace.